My next step is I want to put the uh, switch band onto the eBay tube. Um, now this has to be measured and this is step 17 in the instructions and it's um, three and one quarter inches from one end. So I'm gonna make a mark here at three and one quarter inches right there. And then when we put the switch band on, um, that should center it up so there's an equal amount of shoulder on each place. So now I can mix up my epoxy. I wanna bond this and then bond my uh, shoulders into the nose cone, drizzle some epoxy down into the tube or the nose cone to capture that tip to make sure that that tip stays on permanent. So I've got some epoxy here and I'm just gonna mix it up. And I'm using the rocket epoxy, but you can use five minute, you can use 15 minute, um, you can use 24 hour epoxy. It just depends on how long you wanna wait. Um, since I'm doing this bulkhead and I'm doing fillets on both the inside and the outside, I don't want it dripping. So that's kind of why I chose the rocket epoxy. Um, I just I'm trying to keep it all in one place. Um, I'm going to start with the nose cone and I got a dowel so I can get down to the bottom. So I'm just going to take you know, a little bit of epoxy and then just drop that down to the bottom. A oh, mist. <laughs> I went along the sides so I can get a little bit more, try to be more careful here. That's like plenty of epoxy. There we go. All right, so I'm sure you can't see in there, but I got enough epoxy in there. And now I want to take some epoxy and put a fillet on the inside of this. So I'm just dabbling it around and I should be able to get my finger in there to smear it, smooth it out. And I said before that I'm going to put some on the threads on that um, eye bolt so that that stays in there permanent. Okay, so I have it in there and I'm just gonna smooth it out with my finger. Yeah, that looks beautiful. And then we're gonna do the same on the outside here. Shouldn't take a lot. See, I put it in a little little dabs here and there, and then I'll just smooth it out. Just kind of pushing it along. And then I got excess there, so I'll try to take some of that excess off. Just this is cosmetic. And if you really want to clean it up. Again, use some rubbing alcohol. Okay, and then I got a little on the outside, so I'm gonna take that off so that it goes into the tube easily. Okay, and then 
We're going to bond this into there. And I'm probably going to put a little on each half just so that I know that I got a good bond. So I'm just kind of spreading it thin here like peanut butter. on the edge here. <sighs> Don't set that down. <laughs> it's going to get on the table. <laughs> this is like way too much. and thin because it's not going to take much um, and it's all going to ooze out any that's on this coupler that's excess is going to ooze out so I want it nice and thin all right so that's just like that and then we'll put these together and there's going to be some pressure inside that uh, has to be relieved so you got to do it nice and slow so that, that Excess pressure as we're pushing it together can escape out. Just push it in as far as it will go. And you might want to give it a little twist as well. Don't, don't grab the eye bolt because that's still loose there. So just grab it and twist it. And then I want to clean up this edge here. Let's see, here's where some oozed out. Okay, so that part's done. And we'll set that aside to dry. And then we'll go ahead and do this one here. And this one I'm gonna do is just put a strip around the perimeter. And just like that and here's my line so I'm going to push this on and this is going to get hard okay just like that and I got to take off the excess epoxy and then we're done till the next step Okay, so that's done. Um, in the next step, we can start assemble the final assembly. <laughs> uh, there's still a lot where to go, but we're we're getting there pretty fast now.